Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tony G. You're watching 1526 Barbecue, and today we're gonna do some smoked beef tacos. Check it out. All right, so for today's cook, we're gonna be using these chuck steaks, which essentially is just a chuck roast that they cut really thin. If you can't find these, that's not a big deal. You could just use a chuck roast. You just may have to cook that a little longer than what I had to in this video. So the first step is to bring your smoker up to temp. Today we're gonna to be smoking at 225 degrees and I'm using some hickory pellets. All right, now that your smoker is coming up to temp, the next thing to do is to season your chuck steaks or your chuck roast, whatever you're cooking with. You can pick whatever seasoning you want. Um, just make sure you cover both sides evenly and, and be generous with it, especially if you're using that thicker chuck roast that can take much more seasoning than my thinner chuck steaks. All right, now that we have the rub applied, the next thing to do is just pop them on the smoker. Now, normally when I'm cooking a chuck roast, that thicker cut of chuck, I do about an hour on each side or 45 minutes on each side. Now these steaks are a little thinner, so I'm gonna be shooting for about 30 minutes on each side. You're not really looking for an internal temp. We're gonna way overcook these steaks or chuck roasts once we braise it. Right now, we're just putting some smoke on it. All right, so just like I thought, these chuck steaks took about 30 minutes on each side. So I've been smoking for about an hour. Now it's time to braise them. Now for this braise, we added about a cup of water with some of this beef bouillon or better than beef bouillon. Essentially, it's a beef broth and we added some onions as well. Now we're gonna cover that with aluminum foil and we're gonna leave it in the smoker until it's fork tender. All right, so now that your chuck steaks or your chuck roast is braising in your pan, it's a perfect time for you to hit that like and subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything and it does a great deal for me, so I'd really appreciate it. If you saw all of those veggies there on the left, that's actually my smoked salsa recipe. I'm gonna be putting a link to that right here you can check that out too. We're gonna to be topping our tacos with that. It, it's really the best salsa you've ever had in your life. So you're gonna to wanna to check that out. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. I kind of lost track of time, but most of the chuck steaks are tender to, to a point where I can shred them with the fork. So it's time to take them off the smoker. All right, these chuck steaks took about an hour, maybe 45 minutes to get fork tender. Yours might take longer depending on the thickness of the cut that you have. So just keep on braising them until they're very, very tender. All right, so now's the fun part where you get to build your taco. We're gonna be using a soft taco shell. We're gonna add some of our beef, some of our onions from our braising solution. We're gonna add some of our smoked salsa, some cheddar cheese, some sour cream. You could add hot sauce. You could add lettuce if you'd like. Whatever you normally put in your taco, now's the time to put it in. Now, I'm not gonna lie, guys, these smoked beef tacos were amazing. Topping them off with our smoked salsa really took it over to the next level. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you next time.